Once we've set the course adjustment, regardless of the method we used, we need to set the fine adjustment. The fine adjustment is setting the force, and that's the downforce that the tool is going to have on the paper. Now there's a formula that will get us close to a starting point for the downforce. And we'll pop this up on the screen. But that formula is 22 times the thickness of the paper. Now in, in my example here, I'm using a 10 mil paper. So the thickness in mils divided by 11. So we have 22 times 10 divided by 11 gives me a starting force of 20. So I'm going to start at that force, and I might need to go up from there. Um, and we'll just see how it cuts. When we do a test cut, it's going to cut a little pattern in the paper, and what we're looking for is a clean cut. And if we get everything just right, we'll have a nice clean cut, and we'll show that. I'm going to go to condition on the front panel. And number four is the force. I'm going to choose four. And like I said, with my 10 mil paper, uh, I've come up with a, a starting force of 20. So I'm going to use the up arrow and I'm going to go to 20. Once I do that, I'm going to hit enter to lock that in place. And now what I want to do is do a test cut. I'm going to use the right arrow to get into the test cut menu. And I can move the actual head anywhere I want to on the paper. So what I'm going to do is move it into a nice clean area of the page. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to cut a little pattern into the paper. And the pattern that it cuts is a square and in the center of the square is a triangle. And what I want to see is does that cleanly pop out of the paper. Now in my case we cut through the paper but it's not coming out really easy. So what I want to do, I'm going to hit enter to bring this back into position and I want to go back to my force and I'm going to up my force a little bit. So I'm going to go to 22. And we're going to do another test cut here. And it's a little better. I can pull it out. But it's not perfect. It's still a, a little tough to come out. I hit enter again. I'm going to go back to force. And I'm going to up it a little bit. I'm gonna, this time I'm going to go to 24. Lock that into place. And do another test cut. Now this time, my test cut's coming out really nice. You can see my triangle and my square came out nice and clean. So now my fine adjustment is set and I'm ready to set my speed and start cutting.